Hello, friends. I am Siddharth Ahmed. I am from Capgemini, and I work in the HR department. And before I actually start talking about uh, the importance of communication skills in IT, let's uh, first look at uh, IT. So in IT, you have I. So what does uh, I stand for? It is information. IT is information technology. So what good is this information if it is not put to use? And in order for us to put this information to use, it needs to be communicated. And just because I'm talking about information technology, I'm not talking about the artificial intelligence, machine learning, or automation, where the communication is happening between the IT systems. I'm talking about the communication through the people, because people are an important part of the whole IT system. So, when we look at any graduate or a fresher who is trying to uh, build a career in information technology, then their opportunities to communicate starts from the time they start writing their resumes. Because through the resume, they are trying to get the attention of the recruiter to get a call. And once they get a call for the interview, they are communicating with the interviewer through their answers to influence the interviewer to hire them. And once they get hired, there are chances that they'll work in different teams, so they have to collaborate. So they communicate with their team members so that they work together. There will be a manager who will be assigned to look after them. So they communicate with this manager to inform the manager about their day-to-day -day work. And just in case if there's a client or a customer involved who come from a different cultural background, then they are communicating with the client in terms of sharing their ideas and solutions to make the service or product a better one. So you see, communication is everywhere. There is no escape. Now, in India, we come from different uh, cultural backgrounds, and most of us are very comfortable when it comes to our regional languages. But almost all IT companies uh, use English as the medium to communicate, be it written or spoken. All the workings happen in English. And we have seen some bright freshers who have amazing ideas, but unfortunately, because they don't have a good grip on the language, they are unable to communicate properly. And when these graduates go to somebody for guidance, most often they are told to concentrate on their grammar, their tenses, the sentence construction, which is fine, but communication is beyond the basics. And in my 20 years of experience, I have seen a lot of young graduates, freshers, growing faster and getting better opportunities just because they were in a position to communicate better. Now, and if I think back um, uh, my days when I was growing up and I was told to improve my communication skills by reading one word from the dictionary every day and trying to understand the meaning and the application of it. But today, if you look at it, uh, Google does that job. It doesn't only give you the meaning of the word, but it also tells you the synonyms, the similar word that you can apply in your whole sentence, right? So the digital age we live in now, the attention spans are reducing because there is a lot of distraction. So my request to the young graduates is uh, explore the newer ways of communication which is relevant in the current context. And getting better at communication is a long shot. It's a long, lengthier process. There is no shortcut to it. So have patience and until then, communicate, communicate, and communicate. Thank you.